Okay. Um, did they ever let you visit with your sister? Well, sometimes we they would more or less come to us. They'd bring them come, to you. We were we were in the country, mm -hmm. and the girls' orchestra was in the city. In the city. Yeah, in the city. And um, did you um, ever visit with your brothers? My brother, not none of my brothers that didn't come to the orphanage. So uh -huh. only, only had one brother with me when I did. Okay. So he 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 graduated from uh, eighth grade. That's what they did there. Mm -hmm. And then you could get released and then go out and get a job. Mm -hmm. So he he went to a furniture store and he, and and. Uh, Eventually, he had his own furniture. Uh huh. Oh, he went into the furniture business. He went uh -huh. into the furniture. He worked there mm -hmm. for all those years until he went into service. Which brother was that again? Freddie. Freddie. Okay. Um, well, let's go back to you. Um, how long did you stay in the orphanage? It was there until about 12 years. Uh huh. And you went to school when you were there. Oh yeah, we went to school. The nuns teach you? We, I didn't. I didn't. Uh, I don't recall how how many grades I went. Uh huh. Before I went out and lived lived with a cousin. Okay. And he, I helped him on the farm. Do you remember anything about the school? Not not too much about the school. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um. So you stayed there. Until you were 12. Until I was 12, and then my father uh -huh. had to come and get me because I wouldn't stay any longer. I was running away all the time. Oh, you were? Where did you go when you ran away? Just go. There's mm -hmm. nowhere I was going. Mm -hmm. You didn't but, like it. But I, I, I didn't want to stay there no longer. Uh huh. <clears throat> and it was a railroad went by there pretty close. I'd always hear that train whistle and. Uh huh. That, it wanted me to get up and go. Oh, oh, I see. Well, didn't you say one time that you worked on a farm first? Well, after I went out of the orphanage and I worked for my cousin for a while, and then I hired myself out to a, a gentleman that I knew. Uh huh. And he gave me 50 cents a day in my room and board. 50 cents a day, hmm. Uh,. What kind of clothing did you wear? Overhauls. Uh huh. Farmers mm -hmm. garb, you know. Mm -hmm. Shoes. Shoes. I only had one pair of shoes, and it was for Sunday and every day. Uh huh. So we took good care of them. Sometimes when you have to go out after the cows in the morning. Uh huh. You didn't want to wear your good shoes, so you go barefooted, and it would be kind of cold. And then you have to step in some of them hot cow pads. <laughs> you mean you, you stood in a... Stood right in it while it was steaming. Uh-huh. Uh, was it warm? Oh, yeah, it should be warm. <laughs> Not warmer than the frosty ground. Uh-huh, uh-huh. So they would send you up pasture to, to get the animals and... and go, up and go out in the morning and get the cows in. Uh -huh. We had to milk the cows, you know. Uh-huh. Me and, the, and the, the farmer's daughter and maybe another one, uh -huh. we, we ended up milking about five or six cows. Right. Now you stayed with um, the cousin, and then when you were hired out, you, you lived with a family? No, I went with an individual. An individual. Was, um, he, was he a good person? And a yeah, nice... he was a nice person. Uh -huh. a very nice family. Uh-huh. But didn't uh, didn't you say one time that uh, that uh, he was worried more about his his animals his, than his, it was me? Yeah, tell tell us about that. So that's when I decided to take, make a change of my own. One day he come down and it was, it was hot, and I was working hard. The mule was working hard. We were both sweating them. So eventually. He came down to check on me, and he saw that the mules were sweating pretty bad. He says, you're killing my mules in this kind of, kind of uh, ground. It's so heavy to turn over. And uh, 
you can't do overdo it, you know. So I thought, well, he, he didn't say anything about me. So when he left, I just pulled him up under the shade tree and tied him to the fence and hopped the next freight train that went by. And that's when you left Ford? That's when I left the farm. Okay.